you know weekend has got so many things but we welcome you back to our new week today being the 13th of may 2024 welcome to balozi breakfast show and in studio today god has blessed us with his his own uh, tool mm -hmm. in the ha in his hand yes. <laughs> to sharpen <laughs> us uh, remember it's effective leadership we have been dealing with and we have been looking at uh, we began looking at as a leader as a lead pastor yeah and uh, we looked at understanding the people you are leading mm -hmm. and then last monday we began looking at a leader as a lead mm -hmm. and you reminded us that you cannot lead people before you lead yourself exactly. uh, we went ahead and saw how god singles out individuals mm -hmm. uh, works on them mm -hmm equips them yes. empowers them like joshua he has to work on his fear yes. so that he takes up the mantle mm. you reminded us that uh, a leader uh, if we 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 we, we are the reason or we can be purposes that god's delays are god's purposes are delayed yes uh, you gave us an example of moses mm -hmm. uh, having delayed god's purposes and and caused the israelites to spend 35 extra years in in slavery when he is still meditating or wondering by yes. gaining i yes. killed someone how yes. can i go back i must stammer how can i i don't know you how, how will i say and that is how the chosen generation the chosen nation yeah had to stay Late. 35 more yeah, years yeah. in uh, imagining 35 years it, it's a long it's a long time we talk like it's just one day <laughs> So God, God is um, in a business of building up a leader before they lead others. And you told us we need to lead ourselves first. People can never lead someone who is standing. So you have to be moving. Exactly. At least begin by making personal decisions. Yeah. When they are successful, at least we can see. You cannot come in and tell us, oh, we want to begin saving and investing when your kibanda has failed so make personal decisions let them succeed <laughs> then we can see and say ah if this person comes in this manner yes then we can still follow them yes. as a leader you told us to be firm mm -hmm. but being firm doesn't mean being a dictator yes, <laughs> yes. that one hit very well yeah being firm does not mean you are dictating yes you can just like Joshua saying, me and my household, yeah. we will worship the living God. But exactly. now you, you can choose for yourself. So mm -hmm. I'm firm on my decision. Mm -hmm. I'm firm on my principles. Mm -hmm. But I am not dictating mm -hmm. as a leader. And then you also told us as a leader, uh, we need to be creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, wow, you, you, you told us that creativity mm -hmm. doesn't come from God we ourselves mm -hmm. have to work at when uh, uh, when we are dealing with something yes. and we knew this is the plan mm -hmm. this is how we go about it mm -hmm. and it has failed yes what do you do as a Next. leader yeah that is creativity yes so you don't say nilikuwa nasonga ugali na mwiko ikavunjika that is how people sleep hungry no yes. we want the final product yes. even when the initial plan has failed wow. and then we ended on being calm yeah and then mm -hmm. we told you told us yeah. when there is a storm yeah. as a leader yes. do not be another storm True. and uh, it's quite a challenge uh -huh. we have seen so many leaders becoming mm. storm. storms amidst the storms mm. And maybe they they will threaten you and tell you don't touch the anointed one of God mm. and, and and such things. And so, Pastor, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you can see uh, your students are good. Wow, <laughs> I, I, that one I don't know. I think uh, is exceeding expectation. Wow, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, maybe mm. just on that, mm. uh, Pastor. <laughs> Uh, as as i welcome you to introduce yourself mm -hmm. you'll still pick up from there mm -hmm. uh, on the matter of being calm yes uh, a question is raised that what do i do mm -hmm. if I'm a, i am a leader mm -hmm. under a leader who is a storm in the storm mm -hmm. so you can greet the viewer Thank you. and then uh, you pick up from there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow uh 
Praise the Lord. Good morning wherever you are. I'm happy to be here because this is a platform and an opportunity for me to grow, to interact, and also to refresh myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> um, uh, we've had a very good weekend and I believe you, you, you have also experienced the same. Mm -hmm. For those of you who are seeing me for the first time, I'm Elijah Wawire, a pastor of Word of Faith uh, Church within Webuye Town around Sango area. Straight to the point, uh, mm -hmm. because we have uh, to manage time well, because one of the things I will speak later on mm -hmm. as we go is a leader is a good time manager. manager. Yeah, I know, I don't want to go down right now, but many people give an excuse of, oh, it was the Holy Spirit that made me take over. But if God was a good timer mm -hmm. from creation, and, and and by the way, God works with the season. That's why even when he talked to Abraham, mm -hmm. he said, I'm leading you, I lead your generation into the into captivity, into captivity for, for this period of years. Mm -hmm. So that means... Uh, years are divided in months, and then mm -hmm. down into weeks, mm -hmm. into, into days, days, into hours, into, hours, into second, minutes, minutes seconds, seconds, then microseconds. microseconds yes. So that's, that means a, a leader should be a timekeeper, a, a good steward on time management because time is a resource given mm -hmm. to us by God. Mm -hmm. And somebody told me, time wasters are life wasters because life is divided into minutes so anytime you are wasting a minute of somebody you are wasting the life, the of, life that of that person because there is wow. no life without minutes mm -hmm. now uh and we just want to go straight mm -hmm. now for it's a uh, calmness is a quality mm -hmm. that we need but as as i want to do a recap on that and maybe go deeper because we were we were on the last stage of it during our period then we Mm -hmm. We didn't go deeper. Mm -hmm. We have to know that's why we are dealing with effective leadership. Mm -hmm. Effective leadership means as a leader, even me up to this opportunity or time, mm -hmm. I need to know that I'm not the best. Mm -hmm. I go somewhere and the people introduce me. Yesterday I was in Butere mm -hmm. and somebody who introduced me said, this is the best the, he used big terms. I said, God help me. I wish he knew <laughs> how I also have some limitations that I'm working on them. Mm -hmm. But when I stood up, I didn't nullify and say, you know, oh, I'm not the one the way he has said. Because mm -hmm. when I do that, I go yeah, into leadership. You lower the expectations. Yeah, and I dilute. So mm -hmm. I, I just maintained it. But in the teachings, I brought out that I still have a place I'm aiming. Mm -hmm. So as leaders, we need to. Uh, work on and know that the Holy Spirit is working in us, we have to develop these mm -hmm. giftings, these qualities I'm talking about, they don't naturally come up. Mm -hmm. We should not expect, I know Pentecostals, Evangelical will say, I receive the spirit of calmness. Mm -hmm. No, you <laughs> develop on it. You develop it on it. It is developed. Yes, the Holy Spirit is in us and everything we, we acquire, everything we do, we do by the Holy Spirit. But until we allow him, mm -hmm. number one, to work, and then number two, we have to be willing mm -hmm. and then to desire so that now he can begin working because Holy Spirit flows. Mm -hmm. But when you hear about flowing, it means you can block, you can allow. Yes. Like water flows in a pipe. Mm -hmm. Water can flow in a pipe of one inch. Half an, Half an inch, inch uh, you know, uh, 16, four, inch. 16 inch. So it depends. So your expectation, mm -hmm. your heart, your desire is the one that limits the mm -hmm. flow or expands. So if I decide to block by saying I am the best and nobody can teach me, then mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will still be in me, mm -hmm. functioning, operating. But according to growth, mm -hmm. I will have blocked him. Mm -hmm. because remember man has a key i don't know whether uh you know this is uh but we cannot avoid to talk because uh, uh a bible is uh, a combination of principles that work together mm -hmm. that's why i cannot detach leadership from the holy spirit mm -hmm. because for you to be effective you need the holy spirit mm -hmm. now ma god you you can see from the creation that um uh you know man god would have just said man you are going to be holy by force mm -hmm. you are going to grow by force mm -hmm. and 
with the qualities or the attributes of God, God being powerful. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that God can do. Yes. If, if we believe that from the Bible, from the scripture in the book of Luke, mm -hmm. chapter 1, that nothing is impossible, mm -hmm. then it means even telling Adam, you are not going to sin by force, mm -hmm. was not impossible to God. But God did not create... He didn't want to create a robot. He wanted to create a man who can exercise what he does. Mm -hmm. Nobody manipulates God. Nobody controls God. Mm -hmm. God makes decisions. God allows. God forgives. Mm -hmm. God gives mercy. So he wanted man who can exercise the same mm -hmm. by free will. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. I know we, when we go there, we have three types of will. There is uh, the permissive will, you know, uh, the unchangeable will, mm -hmm. and then there is uh, the will of God mm -hmm. that you cannot interfere with. But now we are looking at the will of a man. So mm -hmm. for me to grow, to exercise this calmness, I have to. I have to know this is where I am and this is where I, I, I have to. Mm -hmm. Because whenever I go to sit down after the church i should be able to evaluate myself mm -hmm. how did i manage how did i talk to people a leader who doesn't evaluate himself mm -hmm. will continue repeating same 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 mistakes mm -hmm. you need a time to reflect like right now it is it is quite easy when during the time of jesus i when, when jesus was on earth there were no um uh, facebook Mm -hmm. I don't know when Facebook was created. I'm, I'm, you know, came up with. But I can, I can. In every situation, there is a way you can use to evaluate yourself. That's why Jesus went and sat down with the disciples and they asked them, "Who do people say I am?" Mm -hmm. It was an evaluation. He, he was trying to ask, "How am I to people? How are they taking me?" Because people will always give back what you are giving mm -hmm. to them. People give a storm and you'll receive a you will storm. Receive. People will never give you something you have never. That's why you can become, people reflect what they receive. Whenever you come with harshness, they look at, can we give you something related to harshness? Mm -hmm. And therefore, they withdraw, they stop managing, giving to projects. So they are reacting they because rude. they may not stand and quarrel you the way you quarrel them. Mm -hmm. But they say, whatever we have, we will, we will not you. release it. Yeah, so, so we are mm -hmm. reducing. Turning off. Yes. So that's why right now the platform we have, apart from sitting, because I'm aware also you can you can ask people to tell you who they are, and there are people whom we call psychophants. They yes. will not tell you the truth. Yes. They will tell you when Okosawa, especially mm -hmm. when you normally give them yes. handouts. <laughs> yes. Because somebody said uh, somebody who received handouts to you is a slave. He can never correct you. Very because true. if he corrects you, he will leave. Mm -hmm. So he gives you according to the bread he receives. But it's good to get people who, can who don't benefit you from you. Point blank, yeah. this is wrong. And those people mm -hmm. are the people that don't depend on you. Mm -hmm. People who will tell you the truth are the people who don't depend on you. Mm -hmm. People who will depend on you will always praise you. Even if you are dying, they will say, no, you are not dying. Mm -hmm. You are just sneezing, sneezing. And then <laughs> shoop, you are gone. So you, you need, right now, there is a platform whereby you can have a message. Either you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or there is a record on phone. Mm -hmm. You go sit down. Mm -hmm. Then you, you sit on the bench of a member in the church. Mm -hmm. That time. Then you look at the way you are addressing them. Are you comfortable if somebody would address you like that? Mm -hmm. That's what we call evaluating. I normally sit down, listen to some things, and then I say, wow, that point, I didn't say it well. This one I'm going to clarify. Hapo nilienda overboard, I used a harsh language. The next time, I improve. Whenever you don't evaluate yourself, you will stagnate. Mm -hmm. And so, this is where we go wrong. When we are leaders and we speak, we speak and we have no time, we are busy. Every time you are on the stage, every time you are on stage, then people begin wondering. Then people begin leaving you one by one. Or sometimes they sit there because in our congregation we have all, maybe about three or four types of members. Mm -hmm. One, there are those who, will, who have already identified where they are going and mm -hmm. they know what they want. Mm -hmm. So whenever they see time is being wasted, mm -hmm. they leave 
they go in a place where they want to achieve their dream. Mm -hmm. In that same same team, there are people who are lost. They don't know where they are going. Mm -hmm. So even so if to them anywhere, yeah, anywhere is somewhere. Mm -hmm. So even and those ones will stay with you even if you are doing bad because first of all they don't know even another where they are going. Yeah, <laughs> they they don't have a vision personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no. And then there are those who have either tried gone failed and then they say now they have given up they say even if we look for another place we'll it's be wasting same. time it is too late mm -hmm. so let's just stay here and wait to die mm -hmm. those three two will remain and that's why you hear us as pastors mostly we will console comfort ourselves depending what they do and they say even if these ones have left i still have some more members too but and remember now them who have left they are rebellious yes they, they are, are the problem rude. yes but you need to ask i have a questionnaire every time somebody leaves church i normally ask my members why did he leave people don't just leave church mm -hmm. people don't just quit people don't just react they are reacting even if they are wrong they are not a hundred percent wrong mm -hmm. they might be 70 percent wrong but 30% 30 right. right. That 30% that they are right. It is on my side. Mm. I am wrong. So you are 30% wrong. So as I evaluate. Leader. Number two, I don't create an enmity with them. So that when I meet them, they will help me reflect and fill my question. I, I normally ask them, why did you leave? Mm -hmm. And then when they tell me, I, I realize I have a problem with the church. Mm -hmm. If it is about leadership, I will go now and begin handling because every church has two doors the inlet and the and outlet. outlet but according to my knowledge of physics if you want to fill this bottle with water mm -hmm. you have to make the outlet be smaller yes than the inlet yes if your church the outlet is bigger or mm -hmm. equivalent it will never fill yeah and 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 people will leave church on on on, on several circumstances one is because either they are not growing remember every member who comes to church mm -hmm. he has a reason why he has come mm -hmm. he is not just come to waste time he has come either because he is expecting something so if they their expectations are not met they leave that's why we need to know why did they come mm -hmm. two is uh, uh every member who has come to church he has a vision he wants to achieve mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then so we need to find out so when i do a mistake or when i handle something i need to be assess myself and know am i doing well because if i am i've stagnated as a lead mm -hmm. okay and then i'm not giving room to improve I have become a storm the way now i'm dealing with that question mm -hmm. the way you say it i'm now the storm and yes. members don't know how to face me as yes. a storm because a storm stagnates you a storm is something that interferes with your growth mm -hmm. it makes you panic it makes you not release your potential it is something that disturbs your mind and people come to church to have peace mm -hmm. so whenever they don't have peace they don't know how to achieve they don't know how to grow now they begin wondering how can we and if you are not approachable where they can tell you pastor you are at the storm mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. if they can't approach you whenever they will approach you you have bricks mm -hmm. that one thing they do is they pack the way they came and leave you with and your stone just and tell me you yeah because a leader is a vehicle you are leading people if people are not confident with you they will just alight board another vehicle they will not say i'm not boarding they will board mm -hmm. to another destination wow so not all people that leave our congregation are uh, a uh, bad, bad. Uh, bad or whatever in fact mm -hmm. some of them it is uh, it's good that they leave so that's why we need to be positive to square to negative yakwamba anybody who leaves my church is a rebellious no some of them are not meant to be there mm -hmm. when they came they realized they are in a wrong place so it's better they leave because if you hold on them they will become also another storm mm -hmm. yeah so let's not view at everybody who leaves church by the way not everybody should be in my church that's not a careless statement so that i should just relax and uh, no but i need to understand 
that I have a vision and the vision will attract people, people. of its nature. Mm -hmm. So some people will come, but after they have already committed themselves to me, then they realize, no, I, I'm, I'm not among, I'm mm -hmm. not supposed to be, this is not the vision I was called to. I should, if they realize that, I should allow them to leave because when I allow them, I, I, I will not be frustrating myself. Mm -hmm. And two, I will make them not to cause problems with me. Mm -hmm. Lot did not leave Abraham because Lot was a demon. Mm -hmm. No, but it's because he was to leave. He left because he was to leave for the good of both of them. Mm -hmm. He would have caused a problem, uh, you know, in the life of Abraham if he stayed longer because he was not to. The time had expired. So we need to allow people according to to the vision of God. Some people, they have to leave. Mm -hmm. and uh, So that they don't become a storm. But uh, as a pastor, whenever you become the storm and the people can't handle you because people cannot correct you as a pastor mm -hmm. because of several reasons, they may not give you direction because direction comes from above. They may not face you sometimes direct because of the nature you have created. People will opt. Instead of dying here, let me exit mm -hmm, and for look for a place Lord. to grow. That's why we hear some people, they have left in our churches, and then you stand on a pulpit and say, we are moved to Hata and Bali. And then you hear <laughs> testimony, I'm in the Bali, Baka you wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Unamuona kwa picha kiuliza wale walisema sitaemba ndambari hapa ni wapi. wapi. <laughs> wow, it is a challenge unto you as the top leadership. You have someone under you. We are being challenged this morning that it's not always that when someone leaves it's rebellion. Uh, we allow them to go and grow. You know, first I've been talking about that even as we are going to uh, to the break. But mm -hmm. I, I, I look at uh, sometimes we have big churches, mm -hmm. and in those churches we have so many people who are called to be pastors mm -hmm. with one pulpit. Mm -hmm. So many who 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 can interpret, mm -hmm. but you only have one session for preaching, so it's only one interpreter who can be used. Mm -hmm. There is only one session for praise and worship. So it's only one person who will lead. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are just seated there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us take a break. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then we will come back. Wow, we are still handling being calm as a leader. So stay tuned. We are coming back with more and more. I want to say this, parents are running away from their own sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. And these children are growing in some sort of vacuum because uh, I am a counselor by calling, not necessarily by profession. Mm -hmm. And I've discovered more things through interacting with my youths mm -hmm. and I've discovered that the, the, the parents are not even 10% aware of their own children. Ukiwa mwenye hekima ya kiungu, Rudy kwa magoti. Mwambie Bwana, I began this thing on a wrong note. I want to come back to you. I am your son. Remember the story of the prodigal son. When he went back to to his father, the father was on the oh, of intimacy. Yes. There's this scenario. Yes. You know, we need to to know each other. We need to learn. Yes. Yeah, when you are dating, I need to know more about this man. He needs to know more about me. Yes. And we create time special for us as youth. It's Friday, eight o'clock, and we are here for Youth's Let's Talk Show. The lifestyle of a worshiper is a lifestyle of sacrifice where you live to please God. Moyo wa sifa huomba na moyo wa ibada huheshimu kwa dhati. God is interested in restoring back his plans in your life. Ba upitapo kwenye moto, kwenye maji mengi hautagarigishwa. Kwenye moto hautateketea. 
wala miali haitakuunguza kwa sababu niko nawe kuna mipango mizuri ambayo Mungu ako nayo kwa ajili yetu hatuishi tu kwa sababu tumepatikana tunaishi ila ni kwamba Mungu ana mipango mizuri kabisa na maisha yetu si inabidi mimi niwe mtu wa kuzama katika ukumbi wa maombi ndipoza nikaweze kuzalisha ibada inayofaa ana ni mwaminifu ya kwamba anapoanzisha jambo kufuatilia na kulidhibitisha Yesu adhihirishwe katika miili My name is Pastor Nicholas Wakes. Born again Jesus is Lord. I'm here to bring us very good news, very 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 good news that I'm an author. I've done four titles. Uh, my first title is called The Power of Decision. This is The Power of Decision. It's a book that I wrote uh, some 7 years ago and by God's grace it has changed so many young people's lives. And then my second title is The Uncommon Leader. Yes, this is a book, a leadership manual, uh, and uh, it is a beautiful book. It talks about the dynamics of a leadership. You know, change requires a leader, a dynamic leader for that matter, who has a vision, and obviously a vision. The third one is called the Unquestionable Dominion, and it's also available in print. Then the last book is called the Access Granted. Access Granted is a beautiful uh, title, talking about how Uh, you can only max, uh, maximize on a commodity if you can access its use. Those books are there. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. They are available and they just go at uh, only 500 Kenyan shillings. For those who desire to have those copies, my number is 0716706091. 0716706091. Call, make your order today 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 and you will be served the books will be delivered wherever you it is effective leadership you can send us your message if you have any question you want to to be answered our sms line is 0718442578 and we have our pastor pastor wawire here who will help us understand we have been dealing with a, a pastor or a leader mm -hmm. who is a storm and and someone is under them mm -hmm. and and we, we we left on the not pastor where i i, I was posing mm -hmm. a, a question which is a challenge mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm in the today. body of Christ mm. today mm. Uh, where by now we have got uh, a church mm. uh, with uh, good capacity mm. and you realize that it has got uh, several pastors it has got several uh, I don't want to mention evangelists because mm. evangelists can be freelancers mm -hmm. uh, we have got several administrators mm. we have got several leaders who are still and and are just there mm. not doing anything mm. Mm -hmm. yes now you know uh leadership is so vast that uh, a lot of us uh, don't know that it is so important because most of us concentrate mm. on uh, once i have received the holy spirit mm -hmm. then the ghost mm -hmm. i'm good to go that's now where the problem begins but when you see some of the effective leaders we are learning lessons mm -hmm. from like Joshua mm -hmm. Joshua was under Moses for 40 years Paul after receiving the holy spirit i heard somebody say where did Paul go to bible school you know right now there is this thing bible school bible school i think the good terminology is a school mm -hmm. 
school of leadership a school you know a school can be anywhere a school mm. can be even when uh, you you are serving somebody mm -hmm. and uh, like me i was in a school of ministry that we were not being taught the bible but i was serving my bishop for 14 years i was in school i was learning mm -hmm. a school is where learning goes on mm -hmm. somebody said learning how do we know learning is going on what do you remember after the teacher has gone has and gone. you are alone that is what you call learning mm -hmm. so what i am doing now when i'm not with bishop isaac in Mbale, that's mm -hmm. what i learned Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now uh we need to you see somebody like paul 14 years when you look theologians who study on the before he began preaching he mm -hmm. sat down he walked with apostle that time mm -hmm. for 14 years what one as a manga took three years after receiving the sight alianza kubiri no the bible skipped because a Bible can say he received the holy spirit and then verse 2 nasema, and he began preaching yes that doesn't mean it was step by step there is a whole history between verse one and verse, and two. verse two okay mm -hmm. so as leaders we need to take time and uh, and and observe because leadership is the vessel that carries the grace mm -hmm. to people so after i have received the holy spirit i now need to know i need now to work on the vessel me because through this vessel there will be communication I may have grace i've received power mm -hmm. i can lay hands on the sick and they but uh, and they get healed mm -hmm. a hundred of them at the same time but if i don't know how to speak well to people mm -hmm. i will not get platforms mm -hmm. through pastors who will call me where sick people are mm -hmm. so you will find my hand is only laying to one person in my church ambaye naweza fikia na wengine wote wanasema that man has a gift of healing but when he comes he will do havoc mm -hmm. so my, the grace of god in me will be wasted and that is why whenever god realizes you are an effective leader mm -hmm. you communicate well mm -hmm. you value networks mm -hmm. you have you honor people and your network is big God will always pour more grace. Mm -hmm. And whoever he had packed in a lot of giftings, then he realizes this person is arrogant. Mm -hmm. He doesn't talk to people well. He is mean. Mm -hmm. He doesn't reach out. He has only two, three, four people around him. He reduces, he takes off that grace and mm -hmm. gives to somebody. Even if this person who has a lot of network has weaknesses, Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? God will overlook his weaknesses or he will square later. Or he will work on them mm -hmm. as he because God is always people minded. minded. Somebody said a businessman is after making money. Mm -hmm. God is after making business for people. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm going to build mansions. mansions. Not man. Jesus. And if God created and, 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 and provided Eden for a man and a woman, it means God values people. Mm -hmm. If God wanted angels who are there and they are just saying holy, holy mm -hmm. and whatever, I mean, he would have created more angels. Mm -hmm. But God valued man. That's why whenever we preach, let's not have, there is our culture, there is our feeling. Some of us put our feelings into the gospel. Unajua, like, if you grew up, you know, we have different personality. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu tu ambao, generally, when they grow up, ni watu outgoing. In their home, wanapenda yes, watu wengi. Yes, yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Uyo mtoto haki grow up na kue pastor. You will be sure. Mm -hmm. Ya kwamba atakuwa accommodative. Mm -hmm. Because, alizoea watoto kukuja kwao, wanarukia kwa viti, wanakula, chakula, mm -hmm. wanamalizia, accommodative. Mtoto mwenye ali grow, for example, in a place where it was a hostile environment. Mm -hmm. Mutu hakikuja, unasikia, hame kuja kufanya nini? Atoke, hame fanya mm -hmm. nini? Kuna wezekano, hakiguro into a pastor ama a leader, watu hakikuja wenga nazema, hata watu wengine umekuja hika nisa. Naona mm -hmm. ni watenda dhambi, niko na nusa dhambi. It is mm -hmm. not dhambi, it is the culture. <laughs> the, the culture of, they are bringing they are culture. Bringing. Yes. And, and utapata, anaifanya an, an, hiyo ina, inaka holistic, inaka scriptural. Mm -hmm. Alafu, Ama, Every, ama na ishuka court na yes. kusema kwamba the spirit of the Lord has just stolen. And you know, 
anything that touches your emotion, any emotions you have, when you look the scripture in the Bible, you will not miss a scripture to back it up. <laughs> You will always because kama kuna mahali kulikuwa na watu wachache mm -hmm. you will always hear even nani had few people mm -hmm. because you know you are trying to uh, uh, court Cover this thing up yeah. but yourself. the truth is uh, that God loves multitudes of people but the challenge is our leadership imenaro and God will never give you people you can never manage mm -hmm. Leadership is an ability. That's why washirika wenye niko nao kama ni 200 ama 100 ama 500. Mm -hmm. Mungu atakuwa anaangalia my growth. As I grow my leadership because leadership is the vessel of containing mm -hmm. people, God will be increasing. That's why some people have very powerful message, but because of their leadership they only have five people. And God will never give you people you can never contain. Mm -hmm. As a shepherd Unaona anga kama zizi la ngombe? Mm. Yeah, kama umejenga zizi la kondo 40. I, I, should we give you 100? No. 100 watanyeshewa. That na wata suffocate. Yeah, wata suffocate. So God looks at your ability of leadership, not grace. Remember, grace can be increased or mm -hmm. reduced mm -hmm. not by us, mm -hmm. but by God. God himself. So, God can release. So, the only thing that determines how grace will flow is our leadership. So if I want to increase the capacity of my church, I just need to increase my capacity of leadership mm -hmm. and my leadership church. Mm -hmm. John Maxwell, who is one of my uh, best, I normally have his books, mm -hmm. he said he had 30 members for 15 years. <sighs> and he was wondering, and, and remember 30 members for 15 years, what what akwambia mungu amekuacha. Kabisa. Yes. Iulijita. And uh, people were coming in his church he does a revival people come they leave after some time after he has finished revival and then he realizes mm -hmm. there are 30 members so he received 30 members but after three months 30 members have left he has retained 30 mm -hmm. and then he was discouraged because now people in town were growing mm -hmm. were growing although when we term when we come to the terms grow mm -hmm. as pastors let's mm -hmm. not concentrate on numbers numbers the word growth or the word suck is the same root with the word success for you mm -hmm. to be successful as a pastor as a bishop as a shepherd let me concentrate mm -hmm. on the word shepherd mm -hmm. it is simply fulfilling your mandate mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with thousands right now we are competing about five thousand six thousand mm -hmm. god may have called me to minister to 500 mm -hmm. and i'm straining to minister you to want five thousand please but munga meangalia capacity elasticity amejua mm -hmm. i has called me so let's concentrate on la, on, on 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 managing purpose. yeah on the purpose mm -hmm. so uh, uh you as a leader whenever you increase and angalia you have grown john maxwell after he, he talked to god god told him train your leaders because i'm seeing they cannot contain the people you are praying for so he began working on the 30 members he trained them for six months on leadership and then he told god have I attained? God said, yes, I have attained. Then God gave him an inspiration to have a meeting revival. Mm -hmm. The church was packed mm -hmm. as usual. Mm -hmm. Those people didn't leave. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. He did his part. Now he had prepared the leadership the because leadership. it is your leaders who hold also the members. Like right now, I was not in church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. If my leaders are not prepared, the next Sunday I have no church. Very true. <laughs> yes. But I was assured wherever I was because mm -hmm. I've worked on them and I know what they can do. And I'm not worried. I was not interceding for them. I was <laughs> I was sure. I was sure you are comfortable yes. wherever you are. I was. Mm -hmm. So we we swell, we increase in operation of grace according to the structure of a vessel called leadership Leadership. which is in three dimensions one you as a leader in your mind mm -hmm. number two the people you prepare because you also can't work alone don't grow alone mm -hmm. grow with your leaders mm -hmm. okay and then put a structure let a structure if it to we have a challenge in the body of christ especially evangelical and pentecostals i'm not crucifying us so much mm -hmm. but we we just throw 
I mean something. Have an operation. Let somebody know this somebody is dealing in this area. Mm -hmm. Like right now, uh, in this, uh, you know, our, our organization, everybody has a place. Mm -hmm. You cannot just get somebody to sweep <laughs> and then you say, today you are holding the camera. He will open that lead, you know, mm -hmm. a lead or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And then, because a baba hajajua, atavunja. So let's, let's also put people, let there be a structure, put people in their area of operation. Mm -hmm. If you take fish out of water, it will die. If you tell it to climb the tree, it will be a failure. But if you put it in the fish, it is an expert. Mm -hmm. The water. Just identify people, identify their giftings, put them in the area of the operation, and don't interfere. Empower them. Mm -hmm. Empower them. Well, that empowering we fear. <laughs> we fear empowering. <laughs> you fear empowering. Most of us fear empowering because we feel like, uh, you know, but you know, the more you empower people, the more you promote yourself. Mm -hmm. Best way to promote yourself is empower your people. That means give them the tool, give them an office, give them the tool of operation, give them authority, give them resources. Mm -hmm. That's the best way. But now, if you give somebody an office, you don't give them the instrument. You don't give them the, the authority. authority. You don't give them the power. Mm -hmm. I've given you an office. Uh, like, for example, I, I, I give you an office the way you are doing, you know, of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, uh, presenter. And then I come, I say now, I am the one interviewing you are seated there. You know, uh, that potential is killed. Yes. Yeah, so, so th that, that's what we are surrounding. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey, 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 Pastor, you can see. But at least we can handle another another item. Yes, uh, now let's go to it. Yes. Another one is curiosity. A leader, you have to be curious. Yeah, but we are told curiosity killed the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is what our <laughs> English teacher told us. <laughs> curiosity is very good. And this one, I want mm -hmm. us to read um, uh, Exodus chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying curiosity? Is because curious is being attentive and being keen to see mm -hmm. what is happening. Now, the way you have said, it could be right because everything we see today has a positive and a negative. A negative. Even calmness. You, can, you can't be calm when you are supposed to act. Mm -hmm. To react. Kuna some places, uwezi pata kitu inaenda mbaya, umekutana na jambazi, na unasema, I just want to be calm because pastor said, <laughs> you have to be calm where you need to be calm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but when it comes to a, a negative force opposing the vision, you know, demonic force, don't bring your calmness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you now have to you know bring out the, the other side don't understand no. the calm language yes so upper curiosity pia mm -hmm. kuna curiosity yenye on the negative side it can cause havoc but now i'm, I'm talking about positive mm -hmm. side of curiosity that is means being keen and then asking yourself why taking keen interest exodus chapter 3 just on one verse because of time mm -hmm. Uh, verse 2 and 3. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked and behold, the bush was burning. The bush was burning, but Moses had to look. Let's look at that first step. Mm -hmm. It was in the bush. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it was Moses alone, but the way we read, we may think it was Moses alone. But mm -hmm. as a as a field where people were grazing, grazing animals, animals, we believe there were other people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Because that was a field. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Bible identified Moses because I think among the people that were there, he one, God king, was yes. interested, yes. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, I'm speaking to theologians, they will say, but God had already in, was interested in Moses, yes. <laughs> but God can have interest in you, mm -hmm. and you don't have interest in him. Mm -hmm. The two have to agree. God's interest and my interest. Yes. If, if God is interested in you and you are not interested in him, then there is no result. There is nothing. But his interest and your interest have to agree. And then something comes. So the burning bush was there. But Moses looked. Now that looking was not enough. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, verse 3, And Moses said, I will turn aside and see mm -hmm. this great sight 
why the bush is not burned why is it not consumed mm -hmm. so somebody was just passing and he didn't have take interest he would just see fire yes but moses took a keen interest and then he realized beyond the fire there the is leaves, no consumption yes leaves are not be burning to ashes and then he said now i have to get close and see what kind of, of fire, fire is this or what kind of bush is this that is not consumed by fire mm -hmm. now that one was a keen interest curiosity mm -hmm. the other shepherds, shepherds were just seeing fire and i think they reported and say mm -hmm. but because they didn't move closer or they even pushed the animals away yes. Kule kichaka kinaungua. to them they just saw fire mm -hmm. but to moses because of curiosity keen interest and when god saw that the Bible says in verse 4, when the Lord saw that he had turned aside, mm -hmm. God called him. That means if Moses walked away, God would not have called him. Wow. Curiosity. And curiosity, when you come down leadership as a pastor, we are not, we are not going to concentrate so much as a, on a pastor, but even as a manager of any organization, as an employer, you can apply the same. Mm -hmm. Whenever you have people and they are reacting they are behaving, they are doing something. Be curious. If somebody in church, you hear everybody is complaining about somebody, be curious. Don't just stand and announce, arrogant, from today. Be curious, Kwanza on behavior. Because people behave according to what they are going through and what they are sending as a message. Mm -hmm. So, when you don't pay Ken keen interest mm -hmm. you will not notice anything you'll just see all members are the same but when you take keen interest you will realize this person there is a reason why he's behaving like this mm -hmm. then you will call the person and then you will ask him why are you behaving the way you are behaving some mm -hmm. people behave in a certain manner in a congregation to attract attention mm -hmm. nobody is listening to them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are assumed so they are trying to cause attention i am here mm -hmm. so if you are not keen you will not pay keen interest that person will continue destroying people until you hear heaven hear me and then by the time you will be listening to him he has caused a lot of damage so if you hear somebody is uh, beating somebody mm -hmm. a madman is the only one that can stand up and beat somebody but when you hear somebody has fought another one that is a keen interest why did he do that mm -hmm. there was something that cost when somebody is not going to that meeting he's reacting to something so as leaders we need to be curious mm -hmm. don't brush off things ah between the church. ah that is normal no mm -hmm. Th that's what I'm, I'm i mean by being curious wow and god loves people. curious leaders yes when moses was curious about the fire god said this, this guy one. is good because <laughs> when israelites react he mm -hmm. will be curious mm -hmm. you can't be curious on fire and then members in church have not come and you're not curious you know there are people i have you know you can go in churches and then you find a leader people have not come in church so but so and so he has not come people have come late but to him, I normally ask some people, did you notice anything in church? He says, no. That means they were not <laughs> killed. But another one will tell you, yes, I noticed something. Pastor, mm -hmm. hey, the way you are preaching today, mm -hmm. uh, there was something funny about the voice. I realized this person is curious. And then I say, the microphone had a problem or I had a sore throat. Mm -hmm. so, to someone else, mm -hmm. any Sunday is just a normal Sunday service. Wow. Even if you come in and you are low, People who are not curious will not know. Will but not people know. who are curious will say, Pastor, today I Kuja. Like now how can we introduce a message if you want to introduce? Mm -hmm. Today, walking steps is like what of out. Mm -hmm. Today, I'll preach this. There is something mm -hmm. that is a leader. Wow. Hey, I think that's enough dots. <laughs> I'm loving each and every point. Hey, I, I realize that I need to really work on myself. Lord, wow, 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 wow. May God, may God really help me. Amen. <laughs>
Yes, as a leader, we have looked at calmness. It came in a special package. Curiosity is coming on another note. And I know and I believe that we can never remain the same as a leader. And remember, we are told that you lead yourself first. So don't say, I'm not a pastor. Eh, I'm not the praise and worship leader. I am not the manager in our, in, in, at our place of work. You lead yourself first before you can lead any other. Be curious. Uh, I think this week I need to develop my curiosity. Positively. Positively. <laughs> God bless you. God keep you till next week. Sometime, someplace. Have a positively curious week.